Hi, I'm Brittany Umar, and this is The Nooner, where we knew our leaders were disgraced when we put them in charge. More bad news for Governor David Patterson, and now the Yanks are involved. Turns out he took free World Series tickets that he never intended to pay for, then lied about it. Of course, in the Bronx, taking from the Yankees with no intent to give anything in return is known as the Pavano, and legal precedent says the punishment is banishment to Cleveland. Of course, the Mets could have their own scandal brewing involving the governor. Turns out they signed him to a three-year deal to be their fifth starter. Oddly, he still has better accuracy than Ali Perez. The Mets lost to the Braves yesterday when one-time closer of the future Eddie Coons walked three batters and allowed four runs in a third of an inning. Coons says he was just paying tribute to closers of the past. Speaking of, Billy Wagner told the media yesterday that his first choice was to sign as a free agent with his old Houston team, but he was impressed when 68-year-old Braves manager Bobby Cox came to visit him at his farm and climbed into his pickup truck covered with, quote, poop and mud. The truck, not Cox, I assume. With the NFL's free agency period set to begin at midnight tonight, the Jets are reportedly being constrained by the NFL's final eight rule and their belts. That's a fat joke. While I'm on the subject, golfer John Daly exploded on Twitter yesterday at a reporter who ripped him over his new reality series and posted the writer's phone number for his 47,000 followers to call and harass. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there and not make fun of John Daly. The Yankees took time out from balancing World Series trophies on Yogi Berra's head to open their spring training schedule against the Pirates in Pittsburgh. And look who is in the house, our old buddy Lastings Millage. And apparently he's still trying to push his rap single, Ben Janis. The Mets traded Millage away in the deal for Ryan Church, who is now his teammate in Pittsburgh. And he thought concussions led to headaches. The Knicks actually won last night, beating Detroit with scoring threat of the future Tracy McGrady leading the way. And when I say future, I mean one more game when his knee starts hurting again. Over in Jersey, LeBron James and the Cavs came to visit the Nets, and we stress the word visit. I know LeBron is friends with Jay-Z and all, but I just don't see King James being in a Newark state of mind for the next two years. In fact, here he is pointing at the nearest turnpike exit to get the hell out of there last night. And I'm gonna get the hell out of here right now.